I don't care about the lights or the things that life in the dark for the sake of you or me or the way to go is up. Skin tip too tight. You, 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 you want me come over mountain. You, What nonsense is this? Are you aware? Now you better close your mouth. Do this. Please hold this for me. Can you please make her stop? I will make her stop. Watch me. Have I warned you not to disturb Amani in the section with your horrible voice? You think you sing well? You just sound like a rabbit. I'm sorry, mom. I forgot our tears. Can you imagine? Now take a look at my skin. Oh, can you imagine this? Now you've succeeded in ruining my rejuvenation. She looks fine. Oh, oh shut, shut it. it! Little witch! Now you listen to me. This is my last warning to you. The next time I find you lollygagging, just to a piece of my house, I will throw you into the lake of fire. Rubbish! No! 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 Good job! You are really learning from me. Rubbish. Oh, it's everything. It's so sleek, so nice. It makes me feel like a baby girl that I am. Which is why I'm allowing you to flex with it. Farewell before I put it on sale. Uh -huh. Mommy, mm -hmm. how would I do without you? You're the baddest. Thank you. <laughs> At this pace, my colleagues are still struggling to keep up. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Oh. You know what? Please. Don't stop updating me. Okay, at least so this is my small fake life ministry can move to the permanent <laughs> side. <laughs> fake life indeed. Well, that's why I'm always allowing you to flex with uh, every of my new products so that uh, other people can see it. And you, you know you have a lovely body you know, for them to start calling. Tommy, thank you. You know what? I promise you, I will make sure that the internet bleeds. Please, make sure. Definitely make sure that the orders will roll in. It's a shock. <laughs> Infection, Gallo! Get out! Do you want to spit inside the food? She's about to make me lose my appetite. I lost it already. I'm so sorry, man. I'm just hungry. Oh, what? Are you done with the laundry? I'll do that after the breakfast. Oh, you better do it now. But some hungry. My friend, 
If you don't get out there, eh? I'll stab you with this knife. Rubbish. Oops. It's actually fuck. <laughs> well, such a nice Daisy girl. I know. I hope she made this nice. It's really nice. She cooks better than you. You know that. Eat. Get out. Is Jacob still coming over today? Yeah. He said he's in town already. And he'll come here in a year. I see. I hope you've not forgotten what we talked about. He is the one paying for your birthday party mm -hmm. and some of the gifts too. Oh, definitely will. <laughs> um, let me say he's paying for my dress, hmm. my hair. He's paying for refreshments, paying for the venue, taking me on the birthday vacation. Oops. Pay for the photo shoot. <gasps> now that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> I really want us to break the internet, believe me. So that those stupid celebrities trying to compete with me will not even know what I have in store for them. Mm. That's it. Mommy, you're so right. I mean, I can't even wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> 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 Idiot! Idiot, go get the door! Come on, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, uh, good day, uh, Chief Naji! <gasps> Naji? Madam Benz, I'm coming to see your daughter. Oh, she died a few seconds ago. Oh, no, she's not around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, you see. Look at two of you. Two of who? So this is the game that you and your daughter have been playing. After all I've done for you. Chief, oh come on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What have you done for me really? You want to deny it? Huh? I spent my money on you and your conniving mother. I beg your pardon. Mommy, look, we can resolve this, okay? Oh, just shut it. Hey! Hello? I wouldn't have you insult me in my house. I don't go around stabbing people in the back. I go direct to their faces. And the fact that you are calling me names, Mommy, you better sh shut it. Mommy, please just calm down. No, 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 please. Do not ask me to calm down. And you listen to me, Chief. Whatever your name is. You see this thing you call relationship? It is over. Huh. Relationship? There was really a relationship. You and your daughter simply scammed me. She blocked my lines. She stopped coming over. But I, I didn't block your lines. I, I simply migrated to another service provider. Take a look at your life. You should know all this. Shame on you. I'm highly disappointed in you, Chief. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh.
sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't want to sorry. talk to you anymore. I didn't know. I would have asked. Mm, Chief, you hurt me. You hurt me too much. Well, I don't want to talk to you today. Just, just go. Hey, it's sorry. 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 I'm so hurt. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I should have known. I should have known. Nah, I didn't ask. Uh, okay. I will buy you that car. You ask off for your birthday. Hmm? We don't find the space in your heart to forgive me now. Okay. Yeah. Am I forgiving now? Yes, of course. Oh, you're the best. Thank you. Thank you. Am I forgiving now? Yes, you're forgiving. Thank you. Thank you. Babies. How are you? Come and give me a hug. How are you? <laughs> oh, this must be your uncle, right? Good day, sir. Will you tell that your dirty hands with my wife? Man, I've lost it too. Oh, come on. That's an old case. Relax. All I need you to do now is just focus on getting Jacob back. Please. But, Mom, are you sure the portrait will work? I mean, of all things in the world, the portrait, who, who likes it? Who needs a portrait? Do you have any other thing in mind? It will work. Relax. Join me. Let's do it. Lydia, what's that? Um, the delivery man just <gasps> delivered this. <laughs> oh, come on, watch my foot. Wow. What do you know? Wow. But are you sure it will work? It will. Trust me. Come on, come on, come on. See, this is our last resort. Okay? All I want you to do now is just to be positive. No negativity. Then she will take it to my room first thing tomorrow morning. I'll get a dispatch rider to deliver it to Jacob. You are smiling as if you know it. Get out. Just go keep this in my room. Can't go with here. Look at this. It Rubbish. Oh, calm down, sweetheart. <laughs> no, do you want me to get shot? He will.
Has this become my destiny? Is this the way I am meant to live? Is this the way? Ever since you both left, life has become quite unfair. Oh, quite unfair. The people you left to take care of me suddenly became my nightmare. All the people you left to take care of me suddenly became my nightmare. And where are you coming from? I went in search of a job. A job? Yes. So I can replace Elma's portrait. Oh. I hear you. So, were you able to secure one? Not yet, ma. But I sure will. Well, if you can perform miracles, here is the hour. Because I will not hesitate to join her in skinning your life. If she loses checkup. She won't, my I promise. I will replace her. Oh, get out. Go do the laundry. Okay, ma. Shoo shoo. So you've got to be careful how you treat people and how you make them feel. Oh, you've got to be careful how you treat people and how you make them feel. All the pain and the grief, the sorrows and the shame that you put me through. All the pain and the grief. The sorrows and the hate became a blessing in disguise. I'm finally free. I'm finally free. It's me, sir. From this pain and hate. From the shame and the grief. Good day, sir. Who are you? Uh, sir, my name is Idia. I'm here in respect of the poster I saw at the junction. I'm, I'm in need of a job. Oh God, eh? God of Zakaria, eh? I told this stupid boy not to put that poster there. Now every mad people around this estate is coming here for this job. Young lady, we can't employ you. Be going. Oh yeah, let's go. Sir, please, please, can I at least see the boss? At least grant me an interview, please. See, if you know what is good for you, just carry your leg and go back to where you're coming from. I will release the dogs for you. No, sir, I can't go back. I can't. See, I'm, I'm a very good caregiver and, and housekeeping, so I'm too good at it. And I love chores, doing dishes and sweeping. They're, one of, they're my hobbies. Sir, please, I, I can do this job. I promise you. I promise you. I, I can come back with my certificate if you want. I just want to be given a chance. Please, I, I'm, I'm in trouble and I need funds. I need funds to save my life. Please, I can't go back. I can't. God of Zachary, what kind of thing is this? Please, sir. I promise you, if you give me this opportunity, you will not regret this. I will not disappoint you. Uh, it's okay. Come back tomorrow and make sure you dress smart, not this thing you're wearing. You hear me? Yes, sir. Thank you very much, cool. sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Come sir. On.
Shambles. Come on. I'm sure it's not that serious. It's horrible. Look, my birthday is only in a few weeks. And Jacob is not picking my calls. My only benefactor is avoiding me. Okay. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll come around, okay? I don't even blame Jacob. I'm sure things would have been much easier if I didn't have my enemies living under the same roof with me. Oh, come on, Elma. I don't think this has anything to do with... You were the one who opened the door for that stupid chief to come in. Because we all thought it was someone else. Mm. I guess that's why you also broke the portrait. My only chance of getting back with him and, and getting his attention. I will, I will replace it. I already promise. I'll get it. When? I mean, when exactly are you going to fix it? Mom, I'll, I'm already... Oh, please move over, you rabbit! Nonsense. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. Uh, I, was, I was saying that I'm, I'm already looking for a job around the neighborhood, and this is one I'm... I'm quite optimistic about if it works out, I'll be able to raise the money for the portrait, I promise. It better work. You have to make it available before the moon's end. Else, you will regret the day your late big head father brought you into this house and imposed you on me. If you have to still go ahead and do that. Of course. Just make sure that you bring me the money in the end. I will get it. Now out. But I was. I do not want to see you. Get out! Are you deaf? Did you not hear? Get out! Out! Little witch. Has this become my destiny? Is this the way I am meant to live? Is this the way? Ever since you both left, life has become quite unfair. Oh, quite unfair. The people you left to take care of me suddenly became my nightmare. All the people to take care of me suddenly became my Baby. Um, but, but is it not possible that you lend me the money hmm? so I can get the portrait? Um, you know, you know, it has to, it's an investment to securing a better future with Jacob. You know. Which money? Did I not tell you? The useless Chief Richard, who used to give me money, foolishly, left. He now stays in Switzerland, just to reconcile with his frigid wife. So we are sadly broke, oh, very broke. God! Oh, come on. It's all right, sweetheart. I promise you, I will not allow Jacob to slip off her fingers. Believe me, Jacob is already your husband. Are you sure? Huh? I'm certain. Trust me. Don't <laughs> Come. It's right. Oh. 
Ah, who is it? I'm coming. Hold on. Ah, it's you. Uh -huh. I'm coming. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Wait, wait, come, come. What are you wearing? Clothes. This is your Maria Maka gown? Oh, I, I thought you said I should dress smart. Oh, this is your way of dressing smart with this Maria Maka gown. I don't understand this, your fashion sense. Oh. I hope you pray, Cha. Yes, I did. I believe the job is already mine. Okay. Oh, the job is yours with your outfit like this. Okay, come follow me. <laughs> come with me with this Mary Amaka clothes. Oh. Thank you, sir. Yeah, come on. Uh -huh. Ciao, sir. Jeffrey. Good day, sir. Thank you, my dear. Um, get me the remote control. Okay, so who is this your wife? Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not married yet. If I want to marry you, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Oga, uh, this young lady here says she's here for the caregiver job. Oh, interesting. Yes, sir. But we have standards. Uh, uh, yes, sir. You, you really have a weird sense of humor. Hi, Oga. I, I tried to send her away, but the young lady refused to go. She's so persistent. Eh? Her feet is as long as Todmingham Bridge. She refused to go again. But well, she doesn't look the part. And I'm not going to employ her. Sir, please. I've been going around this estate looking for a job. This is my only option. Okay. Please. Eh, please try and consider her. She really needs this job. The way I'm seeing her, she needs this job. Jeffrey, I do not run a refugee camp for desperate people. I just can't offer a job to anybody that was in here with a sob and a story. Young lady, with all due disrespect, I will not employ you. Oh, sir, you haven't even interviewed me yet. What else do I need to see? I have seen you. And then look at my decor. Look at my decor. Do you fit in? You don't fit in. Get out. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, 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 Now that you've gotten the job, be very, very careful not to mess up. Because Mauga will kick you out in a split of seconds if you do any nonsense. Any nonsense. Ha! Huh. What? Okay, uh, what are the rules he was talking about? He will tell you others when you resume. But one of the general rules is you don't get fat under his roof. I don't understand. You don't understand? He doesn't like it when it seems that you are eating plenty food. Plenty food. Oh, that. Oh, okay, that won't be a problem at all. I don't intend to put on weight anytime soon. That reminds me. Hope you don't have body odor. Oh, you are even smelling yourself. <laughs> Listen, you will be around my girl all the time. So if he just perceive any small, small smell, Hanlele, you are back to your house. Are you hearing me? Uh, I, I, I don't have body odor, sir, at all. Uh -huh. Make sure you're always punctual to work. You will come very early to work. And you know the exact time to give him his pills. And be present whenever he needs you to push the wheel, that is wheelchair. Maoka is a very, very important person. He doesn't like associating with disorganized people. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. 
Thank you very much, sir. I, I understand everything you said. I, I will come early and I will do my job well. Okay. Uh, sir. Don't be angry. Uh, we have not discussed payment. <laughs> See this girl? You've not started working, you're talking about payment. Um, that, that, I'm sorry. I, I, just, I just wished I would even get an upfront payment. There's, there's something very, very pressing I need to settle with money. <laughs> well, that one is none of my business. You will discuss that with him when you start working, when you resume work. But please, you see this upfront payment you're talking about? Keep it to yourself for now. Just keep it to yourself. Until you are sure you're going to be here, working here for the for a very long period. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Ah. Thank you so much for everything, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Okay. I'll, I'll resume tomorrow, sir. Okay. See you Thank tomorrow, you. eh? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Bye bye. Uh -huh. well, let me come and lock my gate, sir. Come, come early. I will, sir. Thank you. Uh -huh. Bye bye. Bye. <sighs> Wash clothes. Why don't you do it? Oh, you're giving me a choice now. I am not. As I say, I'm busy. You can as well help with that. I'm almost done. And I have to go to work. Sure, I don't look like it. What are you doing? Life has become quite unfair, oh quite unfair The people you left to take care of me suddenly became my nightmare Oh the people you left to take care of me suddenly became my nightmare
Who is knocking there? It's me, India. Oh, I thought you won't come again. So why won't I? Uh, Wait, where are you going to? I want to resume work, sir. Check your time. I know that I'm late, sir, but I have a very good reason for that. Listen, I appreciate my boss a lot. And I don't like lousy people around him. Look at the time you are resuming work at your first day at work. So I, I promise you, it's not intentional. It won't happen again. Since I'm here, let me just go in and start. Come in. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Come. What is this thing on your neck? Uh, um, it's nothing, sir. Are you married to an abusive husband? No, sir. Is it your boyfriend that did that to you? No, certainly not, sir. Then what happened to you? It was my 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 stepmom. She got really upset with me this morning. Ah, no matter how someone is angry, no matter how she's angry, she shouldn't have done this inhuman torture to you now. It's, it's nothing, sir. It's, it's fine. It's okay. I'll be fine. Okay, I will allow you go inside now. When you go in there, tell Mr. Festus that I sent you on an errand. Otherwise, you would have been here early. Okay? Oh, but that's putting the blame on you. Let me tell you something. My job here is permanent. But you see yours, you don't even have a bearing. I'm only trying to help you. You're far too kind, sir. Thank you very much. It's okay. Rush inside.
India. Yes, sir. Sir. What is this? Your palm. I employed in me and that What's on my palm? Nothing, sir. Have you ever done the job of housekeeper before? Um, uh, Answer the question! No, sir. What? Is something wrong? That is wrong! Dust! I'm so sorry about that, sir. I'll, I'll, I'll clean it all over again. All right. My lunch? It's ready, sir. Then go set the table! Okay, sir. Come back here! Sir. Push me. I want to sit you setting the table. You girls of nowadays, you're very mischievous. Do you have the Parkinson's disease? No, sir, I don't. Do you have the hot hintings either? No, sir. What? What is this? in front of any chair. Don't soil my table. Wait for all this before I eat. What was that? It's all right. That's one of the most expensive drinking glasses I have. Are you? Are you? Are you dumb? Look, my friend, you must pay for this. In fact, I am I am reconsidering your employment. I will deduct some caution from your salary. Two months salary. In case you destroy something bigger. Just consider that these two months, you're not receiving any salary. If you last two months under my Sir, please, please, please. I need the money, please. So who's going to pay for my property? I, I will, but it's not with my first salary. I beg you. I'm not joking. Sir, I'm in debt. And that's why I even took this job in the first place. Please, not my first salary, I beg you. I promise I will replace it. I will. Well, you're owing me now. Clean up that place before we have a casualty in this house. Hey, watch your legs. Has this become my destiny? Is this the way I am meant to live? Is this the way? Ever since you both left, life has become quite unfair. Oh, quite unfair. 
North Geralt. And where do you think you're going to? She just told me to, to leave. So, I'm supposed to fly off the wheelchair onto the bed? Will you shut up and come and assist me? Okay, sir. I want to be free. I want to be free. I want to be free. I want to break free. I just want to be free. From this pain and hate. From this shame and grief. Oh, I want to be free. I just want to be free. I want to be free. Ah. Hey. Come on. Come closer. This means absolutely nothing. I still have my sights on you. Cover my legs. Is this the way I am meant to live? Is this the way? Ever since you Thank both you left, know. life has become quite unfair. Thank oh, quite unfair. The people you left to take care of me suddenly became my nightmare. All the people you left to take care of me suddenly became my nightmare. Idea. Yes, mom. What? Why did you just call me? Sorry, ma. How do I in any way look like your big head dead, mom? Hmm? Not at all, ma. Good. Now that we have that established, I wouldn't want this your stupid newfound job to interfere with the duties you have in this house. Have I made myself clear? Yes, ma. Nice. So, how are you preparing to pay for the portrait? Um, I'm working on it, ma. Really? You better work very hard. Cause soon, Jacob will be in town. So I wouldn't want you to mess up. Uh, I'll get the money ready before he comes. Not for the sake of peace. You better do. Let's see. Man. What is this? Breakfast, sir. I'm not dumb. This is what your uncultured mind tells you is breakfast? Uncultured? Come on, sir. That's not a pleasant word to use. Oh, you are now throwing words back at me? God forbid I do that, sir. I'm just saying, I'm not uncultured. I was raised by a good man, just like you. And this looks, this is quite nutritious, you know. Well, I am not going to have this meal. I want an English breakfast. But of course, you are, I believe you're too local to know what an English breakfast is. Another insult, sir. Sir, please. Look, sir. I can understand how you feel being confined to your wheelchair. Maybe life hasn't given you any reason to smile. 
you think. But waking up every morning is a miracle. You don't have to snap, yell, and bite at people around you or transfer aggression. You going through a lot doesn't mean that the person standing next to you isn't going through even worse. I'm so sorry you feel this way. And about this, I promise tomorrow I'll do better. I'll make you an English breakfast. There will be no tomorrow because you stand fired at this moment. Conclude what you have to do in this house. Pack your things and get out. You're fired. So do you need anything else? Like what? I said you're fired. Didn't you hear me? I'm fine, but you seem to be enjoying the breakfast, sir. How dare you? Sorry, sir. Sometimes love can come and pass you by While you're busy making plans Suddenly hit you and then you realize It's out of your hands Baby, you've got to understand Sir, I'm going home appears you forgotten you offended me earlier today. Well, I'm not coming back to work for you. You fired me, remember? So let's just forget anything happened. Good evening. Good evening. What's that from the TV? Chitty. You didn't tell me you were coming. Uh, this is when do I need permission to visit my dad? So, I heard someone singing. Was that you? Well, I just fired her, so there will be a lot less singing than that you're around. Why? What did she do? I don't have the time and energy to explain all that to an uninvited guest. Well, with this uncouth attitude, it's obvious she did nothing. What did you? Answer him. Spin one word and you'll be fired for real. <laughs> but you've... Fired me already. Look, come and help me into my wheelchair. I want to get out of here. His presence sickens me. Um, I'm sorry, sir, but with all due respect, I don't work for you anymore. <laughs> I like this girl. That's <laughs> repeat, you die. <laughs> all right, you are a hired. Now get on with it. I need a raise. What? You've barely worked here for a month. Okay, fine. It's a lot advanced then. I'm in debt, sir. And how am I sure you know run away with my money? I promise I won't. I will work at least for the duration of time I'm supposed to. Un up until I'm able to pay the debt I owe you. Whatever. So you'll do it? You'll get what you want. I'll get on with it. Huh. Wait. <laughs> You're willing to pay her just so you can escape me? Anything to get away from me. Ah. Okay. That's interesting. Are you gonna help? The one is doing it.
how many fathers would give their sons 10 million naira to start a business? Well, I'm sorry I didn't turn out to be the son you ever wanted. And I will never be. You ruined my business. You squandered my money. Oh, please. The business failed because I didn't know how to run it. And because my so-called father failed on me the moment he started to dig. But I gave you more than enough. I still blame you. I blame you for everything. I blame you for my mother. <laughs> your mother, your mother. My mother was the woman you mistreated. The woman you never listened to. You yelled at and you threw her out of the house she built with you until she died. I hope you're proud of yourself now. Speak no further. I just hope you're happy with yourself. Your mother's death was your fault as much as it was mine. I was there by her side. All through her agony, I was there. And you dare blame me for her death? Well, you didn't try enough. You didn't. Uh, sir, I'm going to the market. Do you need anything? Yes! Go to the market and from there, go back to your house. Don't ever come back to this house. Okay. You're a shameful failure for a father. And you are a disgrace of an offspring. Yes, there you go, run away. The way you've always run away. From your life's ambition and dreams. From your failing business. From your dying mother. You keep running. Now you're running again, coward! Good afternoon. Ah, Idia. <laughs> How are you? I'm um, fine, thank you. Ah, hope there is no problem. Uh, not exactly. Uh, the, the doctor sent for me. No, I'm actually on my way to the market. Ha, Idia. <laughs> Come, remember my share when you, whenever you cook that food home. Eh? Remember the way you used to give it to me? Mm. Plenty, plenty. <laughs> sure, I will. Uh, um, sir. There's something I, I would like to talk to you about. Uh, okay, what is it? Uh, this young man that is visiting Oga, who is he? Why are they always fighting and arguing? They are even arguing as we speak. Oh, oh, oh. That's Chidi. That's Chidi, Abby. It's Chidi. That's Oga's only son. That one. He's very, very troublesome. He's a very troublesome boy. He used to give his father plenty problem. What happened to his mother? She's late. God. That explains it. That explains why he's always angry. But as, as Mr. Festus tried talking to him, maybe on a softer note, Probably he would just come out of his shell. I believe he's not that terrible. Idia, I know you care so much. But believe you me, I've known these people for years. I've been with them for a very long time. They've always been like this. But remember, this is not part of your job description. Mind your business. Okay. Sorry for disturbing you. Let me get going before it gets dark. Ah, it's okay. Uh, take care. Sure. Watch the kind of KK you enter. I will. Uh -huh. Bye bye. <laughs> Idia. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs>
Where did you learn how to sing? Oh, uh, <laughs> self um, taught, sir. I sang a lot growing up, but I guess it's my hobby. Interesting. <laughs> you have a very beautiful voice. Thank you, sir. <laughs> um, can I serve you now? Ah, food. Um, today makes it a month you have been in service here. Yeah? Yes, sir. All right. Um, oh, paycheck. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah. Sir, but this is way above my pay grade. I'm not blind. I know what I wrote. Go get your money. <laughs> oh, my God, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you. Can I serve you now, sir? Yes. <laughs> He sent his picture last night. Are you serious, Mommy? Yes. Let me see. Okay. Oh, oh my God, he's so cute. Mm-hmm. How old is he, Mommy? Well, he's 52. Yuck. Too old. What do you mean by yuck? He's too old. Yeah, he's old, he's wealthy, he'll take good care of you and this family, that's all that matters. Good yeah, what is it? Um, I was paid today, so this is the money I owe for the portraits. Well... You sure know I wouldn't just take this money like that? Because the debt has lingered for over a month and it has accumulated interest. So you have to bring some extra money. Mm hmm Like 50k? 50. I don't have such money. That's all I have. So you want to tell me that this is all you've been paid? Yes, ma. And besides, it's even an upfront payment. I, I won't be paid for working next month. Now, what is inside the bag? Nothing, just work clothes. Give it back! Oh, yes! Don't, don't. I want. Whoa. Stop it! Ooh. Wow! You're literally in great. So you think you can wear this under my roof? Hell no! She got more money in her bag. Give it back! Oh, that will be your interest. No, that can't be. This is all I have left. Oh, shh. Well, guess who said that was all they had? You have to forget about this. Give it back. Give me back my money. I've already paid you off. That's all I have left. I've worked hard for this money. You can't take it. Take a look at this, sweetheart. It just such a Oh, this is going to be so good on my skin. But it's not yours, it's mine. <laughs> And look what you've done. I give it. <laughs> oh, I like the smell of money. <laughs> Love it. Oh, nice. Good job. Good job. Oh, just shut up. 
And let me tell you something. Your cries are music to my ears. <laughs> You sing, you sing like rabbit. You cry, you cry like rabbit. What's all this? <laughs> I didn't send for you. I know. I just want to say thank you for the other day. Oh, come on. Yes. You have already said thank you. That's that's. I really appreciate. But on second thoughts, if you really want to thank me, then I will appreciate if you sing that your favorite song <laughs> has also become my favorite song. <laughs> You're laughing. Or maybe I'll teach you my wife's favorite song. Okay, that works. That works. Yes, sir. All right. Now let's. A bobby shaft to bright and gay. Silver heckles on his head. He'll come back to marry me. Bonnie Bobby Shaft. <laughs> Bobby. Dad. What is it? I'd like to speak with you. What is this? It's my proposal for my new business. <laughs> you must be joking, right? Dad, I've never been more clear with anything in my life. This venture is going to work. A million dead bodies before I put in my hard-earned money into your wild goods chases again. Look, it's going to work, Dad. Look, I've done the research. I know the right people. All I just need is your funding. If you just stop being a selfish, egotistic parent and do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Come out of your fantasy, son. I've tried you and you failed. In fact, you failed woefully. Like the Bible says, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Nothing good can come out of you, Chidi. Nothing. And I'm not going to try again. Hey. Sir. Come and get me out of here. Oh, thank you, sir. So sorry, sir. So sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, sir. Will me in. Okay, sir. Um, but I know it's none of my business, but I, I, I just feel like maybe you should listen to your son. Listen to my son? How dare you? You're fired. From here, now, go back to your house. Don't come into this house. Don't come into this house. Listen to my son. She doesn't mean that this is not his first time firing me. Do you want to start a record label? Why don't you just mind your business? I thought you were just fired now. Well, I, I think it's a good venture. A very lucrative one at that. That means you're good with music. Um, no, not music. I'm only good at the financial aspects. But I have a partner who knows the music industry very well, so he will handle that part. This looks good. I think your father will reduce, maybe if you use a better approach. My father is a self-centered, egotistic human being. He only thinks of himself. I can't argue with that. But I don't think it's that bad. I'm his son. I know better. Well, clearly you don't. Because if you do, you know that you can't get anything from Mr. Festus from shouting and yelling and fighting him all the time. He deserves it. I'm only here because I promised my mom on her dying bed. 
Well, I don't know the full story. I just know that I find it quite unpleasant that you're always fighting with Mr. Festus. He's already going through a lot. Please give him a breather. What am I even doing talking to you? What do you know? Please, can you excuse me? Fine. Um, please, can I at least go through this properly, if you don't mind? Thank you. What's this? Your son's brilliant proposal. Oh! Brilliance and chidi are at cross purposes with each other. Unless, of course, you want to add the adjective not. <laughs> then we'll, we'll talk. I read it, sir. And it's excellent. I think it would be really nice if you read it as well. Trust me, you'll love it. Did Chidi put you up to this? No, sir. Well, I just... I just feel it's quite disturbing that the only thing you two have in common is argument. Maybe, just maybe, a business together can cope that. Besides, I don't want to believe you enjoy fighting with your son, or do you? Um... Can you just ask Jeffrey to get my car washed and ready for tomorrow's trip? Of course, sir. Excuse me. Is there anything special you want me to make for lunch? For lunch? Sing for me. Is that what you have to Yeah. Good morning, Dad. Chidi. Excuse me, sir. I read your proposal. <laughs> Sit. You're back from your trial. Yes. Yes. I read your proposal. Hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, I didn't know anything so well written could come from you. I mean, it shows like you are a diamond in the rough. So, tomorrow morning, I'm going to get my finance officers to come by, look at it, and tell me how much we'll invest. Wait, are you, are you being serious that you want to invest in my business? Sure, why not? I mean, I was, I was quite impressed. It's very lucrative, isn't it? Uh, yeah, 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 it is. Uh-huh. Seriously, Dad. Uh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you, are you serious? Sure. I was impressed. Coming from you. Oh, Dad, thanks. <laughs> thank That's you, Daddy. Dad. Thank, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Okay, you know, I'll go get some paperwork. No, no, no. Take, 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 take a sip of my wine. Oh. Yes, yes. Lovely. <laughs> thank you, Dad. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> Jeffrey! Okay. Shut up. Ha 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 ha, Jeffrey. So, how's life again? Okay. Life is good. 
That's my guy. <laughs> I know. I know. Can I get a chance to talk to you? Cause you are fooling with a dead man's corpse and you don't know what to do. So you say you have a lover and you love her like no other. So you buy her a diamond that someone has died on. Don't you think there's something wrong with it? Tell me. Responsible for I'm tempted to tell you not to stop singing. <laughs> That's a beautiful voice you have there. Thank you. Um, so, you know what? When I set my studio and it's fully operational, you're going to be the first artist I work with. Uh, I'm flattered, but I don't know. Why? You don't tell me you don't intend to pursue this like professionally. That has always been my dream, but I don't know anymore. Why? Look, a lot of people need to hear this beautiful voice of yours. It's complicated. Uh, well, I'm going to give you your words back. You once told me that nothing is as complicated as it looks. Right. <laughs> right. That sounds like me. <laughs> and um, in appreciation for all you did for me, I want to take you out for a treat. Um, you don't really have to. Besides, I'm always busy. Look. Yeah, that reminds me. I got you something. You really shouldn't have. Uh, no, look, you did what you did for me was a lot. And um, I would really like to appreciate it. You, is this a proposal? Don't be silly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just saying. Uh, check it out. Oh my god. This is beautiful. I knew you'd like it. It looks expensive too. Well, thanks to you, I'm rich now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now you have a designer watch. What's left is a designer gown. Gun? To go with. Yes, I am taking you out. No, don't say no. I'm going to take you out. Period. But. No buts. That's it. I'm going to leave you to go on with your singing now. Serenade us. <laughs> <laughs> we need it. All right, thank you, yeah? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah.
I sing, that's my melody. The songs that I sing keep me in check. They keep me sane. They keep me sane. Sometimes we never know, we never know what the future holds for us. So you've got to be careful how you treat people and how you make them feel. Oh, you've got to be careful how you treat people. And how you make them feel All the pain and the grief The sorrows and the shame That you put me through All the pain and the grief The sorrows and the hate Became a blessing in the sky I want it And I'm keeping it Bring it back! Look at the thing you're doing Will I don't even start expensive and get one for yourself Give it back! What is so good? Mommy! What? I think you didn't have a boyfriend. That's not a joke. I'm sorry. He gave her a designer watch. Designer watch? <laughs> oh, probably it's fake or copy. So. Hey, I'm serious. I saw it in her room just now. Oh, she, she said someone from work gave it to her. Hmm. This house go walk. Hmm. I think it's her boss. The boss. I love watches. It's too so expensive. It's really expensive. I've wanted it for such a long time. Very, very expensive. Good one. Hey! hey. Madame Roles. Hey, Madame Gold. Now give it. Why it's mine, Mom? She said, give it. So what is the only wristwatch I own? Give it. What a beautiful watch. I always like to fight. Please go get that all. Oh, it's so much more. Oh, okay. Later, criminal. What's that, my mommy? What's that? It's from Jacob. Jacob? It's like the delivery people got the wrong information. No, mommy, I think I sent it to Jacob's address. It has an envelope attached to it. Let her push you, just hit your head on the wall and die. Mommy. Little witch. Break fast. Mommy. Darling, darling. My birthday, my vacation. All right, just calm down. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You don't even need him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
No, no, no. You should have told me. Let me come and help you lock the door. Let me do it for you. Oh. My sister, tell me. Why do you work it in? Where I work? See how you're so fine. Skin like milk. <laughs> tell me, where do you work? What's this sudden interest in where I work? Did something happen? Where okay. I work? Behave yourself. By the way, all of us are going out, so, and uh, probably to your duration, so I, I thought it's nice if I drop you off. Nice? You want to drop me? Oh, just, is there something wrong with that? Let's get going because yes, of the morning so traffic. Oh, my God. Right, let this? me open the door for you. Oh, oh, oh I see. Yes. All right. Yes. Now you get sick. <laughs> now give it to me. You can't Here. Wonderful. I cannot believe this. You idiot. This is the place. That must be my boss's son, the one that got me the watch. <gasps> Idia. Sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Did you sleep well? Yeah, yeah, I did, sir. Okay, uh, what will you be doing today? Um, aside from the chores, I'll be going to the market to buy a few things. What do you want? The few things, like you want to cook? Yes, sir. Ah, so you won't mind if I join you in the kitchen? Sure, sir. All right, all right. I'm heading to the supermarket there, okay? Okay, sir. So once I'm done, I'll come see you. Okay. Take care, sir. Bye. Uh, um, um, he you. is so cute! Wow! He is. As if you don't know, let her wait. Sorry, I asked you. Resume work. Yeah, how are you? Fine, thank you. Idiot? Who are you picking? Oh, I'm idiot, ma'am. Go and come back tomorrow. Nobody's in the house. Eh? You should go and come back tomorrow. Go and come back tomorrow. Idia? 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 It's like they have told that I have phobia for dogs. <laughs> Idia? Idia? Necessary to actually wear this. Phil, you don't want to make a mess of yourself, do you? Well, I, I think I'm super careful. I will not make a mess of myself. 
You know, I've actually never cooked before in my life. Really? Yes, ah. I prefer to buy food. But you know there's a huge difference, right? Well, it is better. Well, but I'm sure it will lack that homemade touch. Homemade touch? <laughs> there's no such word as homemade touch. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, because it's fast food, it can make you fat. Oh, so homemade foods don't make you fat. Everything fresh, fresh oil, fresh mm. leaf, fresh everything. I see, and I believe you, <laughs> the chef of the house. <laughs> the house. <laughs> bread. Uh, yeah, that's it. She is what we do best in this house. <laughs> my God! <laughs> oh my God! I'm so sorry. That's my fault. I should have covered it. I'm sorry. What has been proved? So sorry. Still, why you needed a new phone? So, Idia, about the other night, I uh, uh, Please, let's not dwell on that, okay? Just focus. Uh, just... Sorry. Well, the clothes are already ruined, so I guess I'll have to stay for the rest of this cooking shirtless. Please put back your shirt. I don't think that's appropriate. It's already wrong. Idia! Sir! I need your assistance in my... Uh... Hey, young man! What's the matter with you? Don't you know it's inappropriate to, to expose your body to a woman? I'm sorry. Oil spilled on my shirt and I had to remove it. Idia! Come here at once. Uh, okay, sir. Um, but I'm just about to start cooking. Put that on hold. Come here. All set, sir. I I beg to leave. Oh, uh, uh, already? Are, are you done? I mean, the, 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 oh, okay, it's, it's, it's closed. What of? Okay, it, it, it's okay. Everything. But where, where are you rushing to? Are you busy? Stay for a while now. Well, I. I I still have to make dinner, sir. Oh, dinner! Ah, I I forgot completely. I'm very sorry. Okay, sir. Yes. All right. Excuse me. Sorry. <gasps> I, I, told, I told you. I told this was going to happen. No! Is it no, 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 no. going to burn it? He's setting the whole dollars up, please. Don't, don't, no, 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 no. Oh. How? Why did he burn it?
Idiot. Sir. Don't you have any chores to attend to? Um, sir, I'm done with everything. Oh. Shouldn't you be on your way home then? Yes, sir, but I still have an hour to spare. I see. Idia? Sir? I need your assistance. Come and wheel me to my room. Okay, sure, sir. I'm done, sir. Why are you smiling, sir? You know, I just love to see you work. Is that why you had me made your bed four times today? Uh, 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 is, is, is it the fourth? I mean, you know, Chidi, Chidi, I... Chidi? Is this about me spending time with Chidi? I promise you, it's not what you think. There's nothing going on between Chidi and I. Oh, no, no, no. I have no problems at all with that, you know? But I want you to spend more time with me. Yeah, You wouldn't know when I'll need your assistance. Yeah, you're right, sir. I will stay close by. Just call me when you need anything. I beg to leave. No. Why? I, I have Netflix. I have cable. I have sports is there. Whatever it was you are watching with Chidi down there, you can find it here. Um, but, but, sir... It's just really pleasant. Please, I want you to stay with me. Spend more time here with me. You saw that house, didn't you? What did she ever do to deserve that? That kind of opportunity? As, as wretched as she is. I mean, if any daughter of this household would associate herself with, you know, a wealthy man, such wealthy people, it has to be you and not Idia. Mommy. Well, she works for them. Look, he even bought her a watch. What kind of boss just gets up and, and just buys their maid a watch? An expensive one at that. All right, sugar her, just calm down. Believe me, Idia is going nowhere. Where's my niece? Nowhere. Oh, Good evening, You! Sit! Sit, baby! Did something happen? Idiot! Don't mind your sister. Sit! Ah. I really appreciate how efficient, you know, you have been since you started working. 
<laughs> but believe me, I wouldn't want you, you know, to keep stressing yourself here and there, you know, walking in that big mansion all by yourself is a big stress. Okay. It's actually not stressful. I, I can manage. Oh, no, 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 no. I do not want you to manage anymore. You know, as your stepmom, it is my duty to look out for you. I mean, it's my priority. Come on. So I wouldn't want you to keep slaving yourself in that man's house. Um, Mom, I, I appreciate your concern, but I'm not slaving my life away. He's paying me well. I was able to pay off Elma's debts from the same work. I... Enough! That's it! You are not going back to that walk again. I would not allow you to step out to walk for that man. And that's it. No. But, but I, I, I can't just quit without at least giving a prior notice. That's not fair. Now you listen to me. You are not going anywhere. From today till I say otherwise. And that's it. But I'm not complaining. Oh, shut up! Hey! Is that what I taught you there? I brought you up well. Hmm? Yeah, look at what you've turned into. I'm, I'm sorry, Ma, but please, Ma, please. Just allow me to go tomorrow and tell my boss that I won't be working for him anymore. Please. Maybe you didn't hear me well. I said you are not stepping out from today till I say otherwise. Find out. Case closed. Court adjoined. Say something. This is not fair! Foolish girl. I was even about, you know, giving her my drink. But she has grown wings. Of course, mommy. I mean, she even stood up to you. Anyways, that's what you get for bringing her into this house in the first place. What's that? If I hadn't brought her, who would be running errands for us? You know you are too lazy. Lazy girl, you cannot even do anything. You cannot cook. You cannot... Nothing! You cannot even wash your panty panties well. Because you didn't teach me, mommy. Now get out! Get out! Alright, sit. Has this become my destiny? Is this the way I am meant to live? Is this the way? Ever yeah. since you both left, life has become quite unfair. Oh, quite unfair. Idia. The people you left to take care of me suddenly became my nightmare. Idia. The people you left to take care of me suddenly became my nightmare. I be so shaman, so shaman for the people. Oh. Jeffrey. I be so shaman. Jeffrey. Yeah. Oga. Huh? Oga. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Have you seen Idia today? Idia? Yes. No, I haven't seen her. Are you sure? Yes, sir. She has not passed my gate this morning. No. I think she's inside. I've not seen her. She has not crossed this gate. Okay, thank you. Go back to what you're doing. Okay, sir. From the shame and grief. I so shame. I just want to be free. I want to be free. Idia! Idia! 
I only find peace in the song India. that I sing. That's my melody. It's my melody. <sighs> the songs India. keep me in check. They keep me sane. They India. Sane. Oh my God, Dad. India. Don't touch me. We are not supposed to be doing this on your own. I want India's assistance. Oh well, she's not here. You've got me. What do you mean by she's not here? Well, Jeffrey says she hasn't shown up for work yet. Then something must be wrong for her not to be here at this time. All right. Come get me up so we can go and get her. Do you even know where she stays? I employed her, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. On second thoughts. Why don't you go run a bath for me and get my breakfast? I should run a bath for you? Yes. And then I should cook breakfast? Yes! She was teaching you how to cook, wasn't she? I, I, I saw both of you. So go practice what she taught you. Get me breakfast and run my bath. Go, 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 go! me very well you can see that I'm hungry so I need you to go in there and fix me something to eat at once but I have to go to work which work oh you told I was choking when I told you you would no longer work there Ooh. you look beautiful all right go now now turn around and change into something befitting for your kind of person my friend, get going! Oh, never mind. I have changed my mind. Get out. Who is there? Help! Please help me! Help me, please! Is somebody out there? Please! Hey! Do you think you can afford this door? Do you want to push my door down? Do not try me. Oh, you want me to push you? Nonsense. <laughs> I only find peace in the songs that I sing. That's my melody. That's my melody. The songs that I sing. Keep me in check, they keep me sane, they keep me sane. Sometimes we never know, we never know what the future holds for us. So you've got to be careful how you treat people and how you make them feel. Oh, you've got to be careful how you treat people and how you make them feel. All the pain and the grief. So, Dad, we're here. What does that mean? We should go inside. <laughs> You're my only son, and you need to begin to learn how to take charge. Now, you go in there, and tell them why you're here, and present what we have to them. Whatever they tell you, you come back and report to me.
Have a good day. When? Um, sorry, please. Uh, does Idia stay here? Idia. Idia. Makai Chich, I do call. Um, she is not available at the moment. Mm. Um, well, thank you, Ma, for your hospitality, Mrs. Oh, Bennett. Just call me Bennett. Well, thank you, Mrs. Bennett. You see, I um, I really didn't mean to disturb you, but um, Idia works for us, and um, her sudden absence from work today was alarming, so... I came to check if everything is okay. Which idiot? The little witch. Witch? Well, I don't know anything about her being a witch. Of course. Oh, no. I know. I know her too well. She's my stepdaughter. She's no good. That girl is a no, 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 no go area. She's everything bad. Just believe me. Let me show you. Do you know that Edia killed her parents? Well, well, that's sad. Is that all? But if she's as bad as you say, why do you still live with her? What can I do? What? Just the cross that I must carry, you know, till eternity. Well, we want her back. We'll double her salary. I will not let her. Triple. Pay directly into your account. Young man, you do not get it. Hey, I am trying to protect you, cute man. And your dad from this witch I'm talking about. Believe me, that girl is evil. Though, you know, she's my stepdaughter. I still care about her. And, uh, I mean, she has been stressed so much. So leave it. I won't let her. Uh, but she didn't mention anything about being stressed. Well, that's because you do not know her. I know her too well. All right? She has been stressed so much. I mean, she can't do it all by herself. So please, let it be. Well, for the pay, I will let Elma. I'll let Elma go, you know, help her out. <laughs> you want Elma to join Idia working at our house? Are you serious? Very serious. Come on. There's nothing there you shouldn't be complaining. You are a wealthy man. Your father is very rich, very wealthy. I mean, you can afford to employ 10 or even 20 meds at once and pay them very well. So why this particular idiot? So, I want Elma to go help her out, you know, and relieve her of the stress. So that's the only way we get to live with Idia? Mm-hmm. That's it. Well, you have to compromise. Elma, tax along. Wow. Well, do we have a choice? All right.
Hi guys, look who woke up looking as stunning as ever. You know how we do, right? <laughs> I woke up like this. Flawless baby. <laughs> oh, who's this person? Says, oh, you're so beautiful. Of course I am. I know this. <laughs> I know this. Blessed, flawless, too blessed to be stressed. You know what I'm talking about? Brown sugar, baby. Everything on thick. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> uh, how can I be as beautiful as you will? Oh, of course you know you would never, even if you tried, right? <laughs> you guys are so amazing. I mean, look at all this nice corn. Elma, are you not going to help out? Guys, please, as I was saying before that rude interruption, <laughs> as you hear, your favorite influencer, your favorite beauty queen. <laughs> yeah, but I have to go, okay? Yeah. 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 Uh, Idia. Uh, where is Idia? Um, <laughs> not exactly. Okay. But then, I'm sure I can do whatever it is that you need help for. Don't worry, I actually needed Idia. Come on, don't be like that. I mean, what is it that she does and I can't do, you know? Well, um, I actually needed to show her something. Even better. You can show me, okay? Look, I'm actually really good at everything I do. So we can just um, skip to the good part. Please, can you um, take a step back? I mean, come on, I don't bite. Like, Please just take a step back. Why are you being so difficult? Like, it's just... just listen, um, Elma, it is, right? Okay. Yeah. I think you've gotten your job description and uh, priorities all messed up. Let me tell you something. The next time I see you like this, I'm going to make sure you lose your job. Come with me. Finish up. Bingo! <laughs> wow, that's great. Thank you. Um, so. so please, can I join? Oh, uh, maybe some other time. This is the last one. Mm -hmm. So what? We are still playing, and I'm really good at games. I said some other time. We have a problem with it. No, sir. All right. Let's go mow it down. <laughs> Let's go mow it Incredible, down. Incredible, sir. <laughs> So, um, this is some of the songs I wrote. Yeah, and okay. um, oh. then, um, like this one also. Yeah. Okay, check this one out. So, you can just 
Do the last for us. Okay. Um. Chidi, that's what they call me. I promise that you'll never be lonely. Okay, this part, this sounds like a high tone. Can you? Can I what? You want me to sing it? Yeah. Oh, you're the talent. I'm, no, I'm, I don't have the talent. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just know how to write. But yes, it has a high pitch. So just take it up a bit, right? There was a time I was alone. No place to go and no place to call home. What are you doing here? Idea! Idea! Sir! Come with me. Take me out. Okay. What were you guys doing? You can show me as well. Um, Let's... sorry, please, can you just leave? Show me now, I, I can't Let's sing as well. Stop. Can you, I'm trying to be Look, polite. you're looking at raw talent. Okay, I sing and then people, like, it's, see, you can't resist my voice, I promise. But, okay, knock yourself out. I shouldn't be like to sing a lot, but, you know, for this I'll just do it. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want to go there You should have done everything possible, you know, for them to notice your presence. Why don't you know me? I tried my best. I did everything I know how to do. Did you use the seduction trick? Hmm? Well, your best is not good enough. Really? Can you believe that they even refused my offer to play games with them? I mean, is there anything she does that you don't do? She, she sings for the father and, and with Chidi, the son. Just that. The family weirdly seems to enjoy Idia's horrible voice. Don't know how. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, maybe you should start singing. I mean, well, you, you know I try, but I mean, you know the result. I know, horrible voice. Let me tell you something. Yes, back before I took in, I used to be a chorister. Mm-hmm. But they threw me away because I took in before wedding. I mean, I don't believe that. Oh, come on, believe me. I used to sing years back. But in your dreams, right? Oh, believe me. I can teach you. <gasps> ah! No, relax. I'm serious. 
Allow me to teach you. Believe me, you will love it. Sing. You gotta sing from here. It's not working. You are in debt at this disgrace. It's a gift of my mother. There was a time I was alone Nowhere to go and no place to call home My only friend was the man in the moon And even sometimes he would go away too Then one night as I closed my eyes I saw a shadow flying high He came to me with the sweetest smile he told me he wanted to talk for a while. He said, Peter Pan, that's what they call me. I promise you will never be lonely. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, you know. Thank you, sir. Mm. You know, since, since my wife passed on, I've not been close to anyone like this. Really? Yes. There's something about you, your voice. It reminds me so strongly about my mother. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful you like our singing sessions. Uh, the pleasure is mine, sir. Thank you for listening to me. At home, it's just noise. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I like this type of noise. <laughs> Yeah. I'm an old man. Too old to play games or beat about the bush. What I want to tell you now may change the way you look at me. But then I guess I better go ahead and say it. Because it could bring pleasure to us. What is it, sir? You're making me anxious. Great. I want to... Um, Idia, can you please come help me clean my room? Why don't you ask Elma? Uh, she's not here yet. Besides, um, Idia does it better. Uh, I, sir, I guess we'll continue this conversation some other time. I guess it. Okay, um, I have to go. Cool. Uh, she was still holding my hand. Oh. I believe this is yours. Yes, it is. Hmm. You wouldn't be planning a wedding anytime soon, would you? On the contrary, yes. I met someone very lovely. And I, I, I plan to spend the rest of my remaining life with her. Oh, I see. Please, can you wheel me to my room? Idia, 
us gone off with Judy. Well, sure, sir. Don't freak out and run out on me this time. Please. Sir, well done, sir. Chidi said I should, I should call you, that you should come now, 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 now. Yes, sir. That he's in serious trouble. You need to know. Is there a time Chidi is never in serious trouble? Where is he? Sir, he's in his room. It's an emergency. All right, let's go. Okay, sir. Let's go, sir. I will come. Get my wheelchair. Alright, sir. Leave it, sir. Please, let's go. Come, come, come. Help me into my wheelchair. I should help you. Sir. <laughs> me, I, I don't know how to do that. You know, it's... I, I have no idea because it's going to probably break my nails or something. And these nails, they cost a lot. So, just, just try now. Just sit down. Like, just get up and sit. It's not, it's not that hard. Just sit down. So he's very urgent. He's waiting. Just... So just sit down now. Let's me a time for my nails. So let's go now. No. 
no, no, stop me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please, please, someone give me, please give me another chance, I beg. Has this become your destiny? Is this the way I am meant to live? Is this the way? <laughs> Ever since so you please. left, life has become quite unfair. Oh, quite unfair. Oh. The people you left to take care of me suddenly no. came my to my All the people you left to take care of me suddenly became my nightmare. Sorry. What's going on? Where are you going to? I can't stay. Why? You, you're crying. What happened? Talk to me. He fired me. He fired me. Goodbye, Chidi. I only find peace in the songs that I sing. That's my melody. It's my melody. The songs that I sing keep me in check. They keep me Dad. sane. They keep me Here comes the night in Shining Armor. What did you do? Which of them specifically? Why did you send Idia out? She did nothing wrong. Secretly kissing her boss's son is not part of her job descriptions. It happened in the spur of the moment. Okay, I'm sorry if you find it inappropriate. But please do not punish her like this. If she has to go, it's already unconducive for her. You know what? Stop using the case as a front to cover up your burning desire to, to ruin anything and everything good. Don't start. Yes, Dad, that's all you do. That's all you do. My life was good with mom. You weren't present. Were you? You weren't. All of a sudden, you call her, you insult her, you frustrated her, give her high blood pressure that eventually killed her. I did not kill my oh, wife. You use flash, Dad. You did. You know what? I am not guilty. So, I will not succumb to your malevolent accusations. Deal with it or get out of my house. that get your hands off me oh my goodness look at the way you're dressed look there's nothing wrong with the way i'm dressed i'm just trying to help you relax get, so, get your hands off me look i just need you to relax after all of what that silly idiot girl did to you get your hand jeffrey jeffrey Jeffrey! Please hey, stop shouting, okay? I'm just. Okay. I'm just... You called my name. Get her away from me. No. Get her away from me. 
Madam, Oya. Go! Don't touch Go. me! Listen, Jeff. Get into the room. Get everything that belongs to her and throw her out. Okay, sir. Come on, be going. Now! Is this your mission? Not my mission. My mission. I just want to walk out to be clean. You're fired. This instant. You're fired. Sir, please. I'm sure you can resolve it. Please. And let this be the last time I see you on my property. Get out. Get out. Run far, very far, wonder till you get to Galilee, where they nailed our Christ on the cross, and He said, "It is finished. Your own case is finished. Here and there. Now get out." What? Right, Galilee. Let's go, go time, mommy. You and I know you don't go to church. You've not gone to church in years. Whatever. Okay. Let's just get out. Get out. Sure, sir. Jeffrey? Sir. Sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, I have searched everywhere for him. He's nowhere to be found. Everywhere as in the entire city? Yes, sir. Where is this man? Sir, if I may add, Chidi is a grown man. This is not the first time he's gone missing. I believe when he's done, he will return back and settle. 
Look. I can't keep up with this much longer. I know Chidi loves Idia. And I've just turned myself into an obstacle. I've been a hold on Chidi's life. I, I, can't, I can't continue like this. But sir, he hasn't been the best son either. <sighs> you know, Back there, in Delta, I hurt Franca. I hurt Franca real bad. She was there for me when I had nothing. And then, when I got my financial breakthrough, oof, I went wild with women. I was even living with one who made me believe that the baby she had was my and then one day in a rage, I drove out. And I had the accident, accident that claimed my legs. Sir, did you ever see her to apologize? Pride. I didn't know how to get about that. I was trying to make up my mind on how to get about that. Well, when I finally made up my mind, I walked into her funeral. Chidi is all I've got. I know he messed up, but I didn't do, I didn't do better. Look, that's what life is all about, you know. You fall and you get up again. I have never been there to help Chidi up on his feet. So for once, I won't him back up. So I can apologize to him. So I can tell him I'm sorry for not being there for him. To tell him, I'm sorry for not being there for his mother. To tell him, I'm sorry for turning up in a wheelchair. Sir, so, I think you should take a look behind you. Behind you. Oh, you conspirator. My God, sir. Sit down. <laughs> Dad, I... I'm sorry for the Just words I said. nothing to apologize about. I, 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 I have not been perfect. So I'm sorry too. I need to ask you for forgiveness. Listen. I know that you love Idia. I've seen the passion with which you look at her. I saw the passion with which two of you kissed. I love her too dearly. I, she's a red gem. I don't want this red gem to pass us by. So, I am mandating you now to go and make her a member of this family. Take her. Go and bring her into this family. Are you for real? For real? Get the vehicle. Let's go there now. Wow. Wait, does that mean you're going with me this time? No, I'll stay in the car, you go inside. Whatever happens, you bring me a feedback. <laughs> I see some things never change, eh? Oh. Mm. Okay. All right, let's go. So, so do I help you here? No, you go and... Driving the car first. Oh, okay. Sorry. I forgot. Some things never change. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jeffrey. Yes, sir. Please come open the gates for me. Okay, sir. All right. Sure, sir. Yes, Jeffrey. How is life again? Life is good. Correct, sir. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Please, can I see Edia? For what purpose, if I may ask? Um, well, uh, we want her working in our house again. Well, with my full chest, I will not permit that. I mean, within a space of 24 hours, you sacked my two daughters. Who does that? Hmm? Well, I'm sorry about that, madam. My dad himself is sorry. And that's why I'm here. Oh. Are you saying you're here to apologize for the way you treated me? You see, um, Elma, you, on the other hand, you lack modesty and obviously home training. So you got what you deserve. Mommy, Mommy, did you, did you hear what he just said? Of course I did. Hey, you Yahoo boy. Mind when you talk to my daughter, else I will give you a horse slap. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rubbish. So can I now speak to Idia? Well, as a matter of fact, I have grown weary of this visitation and my hospitality is withdrawn. Now get out. Sorry? Leave our house! Come on, ugly boy! Get out! And don't come back. In there. Oh Lord. He's really cute. Stupidly so. You missed something. I'm sure she's in there, but they will not let us anywhere near her. We should have got her a phone. And with that, we'll have been able to trace her now. What does that get man want? Yes, well done. Yes, Idia. Yes, Idia. That is the point. This small my damn, big my damn, the don't my treat this girl for this house. Look at that girl for the night. Straight Mike, you don't kill him. Don't take point in here. He's supposed to be eyes. No, she's not. You know the eyes? No, she's not. You know, go past the environment. This environment? This environment. This the, estate? Yes. yes, this estate. So they, if I drive down or something, I will see her? Uh, we drive straight down or something. Check around the place. When you drive straight down or something, you can see her. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> You might know why now. I'm going to put I to the pine now. Just wait till I use whole idea. Hello, Mama. Hello, Mama. This change, manage it there. Oga! Oga! Thank you, sir. Yeah.
So, please, how is she doing? Don't worry, don't worry. It's actually um, just an ankle fracture, minor bruises, and um, we're good. She's good. Okay, okay. Thank so, God. Um, so, can we see her? Oh, uh, don't worry about that. Um, all right, come on, me. Okay. No. Has this become my destiny? Is this the way I am meant to live? Is this the way? Ever since you both left, life has become quite unfair. Oh, quite unfair. The people you left to take care of me suddenly became my nightmare. All the people you left to take care of me suddenly became my nightmare. Thank you. What's going on? <laughs> oh my God! Thank you. What, Dad? What's going on here? Don't tell me you intend to marry tonight. Exactly. <laughs> What is going on? What are you up to? And is this why you told us to dress up? What is the big announcement you have? Well, now that we're there, we better... Hey, but young man, why are you throwing everything this way? As if you don't have anything to say to her. Chidi has something to say to you. Come on. Dad, come yes. on. Yes. What is it? Spill. Come on. Okay, um... Spill already, I'm anxious. Okay. Somebody told. What is it? So, um... Okay. So, Idia, you, you've... You've brought so much joy to our hearts. And you also brought so much light into our lives. That we are very grateful that you are you are here at this moment, right here, and um, we I, I would like to make that permanent. Marry me. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm your wife. Oh my god. Beautiful. 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 <laughs> oh. Um Jeffrey? Was that the doorbell? Yes, sir. All right. Sit. Sit, please. I sent out an invite to your family. Yes. You see, nothing is as fundamental as blood. I think it's about time you reconcile with your family. Just as you've facilitated the reconciliation between my son and I, it's my desire that you throw about this sunshine of the soul called joy. Look deep within yourself and forgive your stepmother and your stepsister. All right. Wow. Hi. Wow. Yes! <laughs> Ben, I see. What are you doing here? This is my stepmom, and this is my sister Elma. 
And yet that, you asked them to come. You invited them. Bendai, see? What? Wait a minute. Festus. Yes. He's your son. Yes. And you own this place? Yes. You didn't die. <laughs> You're disappointed that I didn't die. Not dead like you planned. I left my wife heartbroken to be with you. Instead of you to reciprocate, you decided to start sleeping from one man to the other. You got pregnant and schemed to impose the child on me. And when I discovered, to go. Misfortune came my way. You cleared my account. Sold everything I had and fled Delta. Well, I didn't die. I think this is karma. Nature paid me in full. Oh, mommy, what did you say? Nothing. <clears throat> She, she did the same thing to my family. Oh. Oh, shh. No, not this time I won't. This woman here was my, my dad's mistress. Wife. Mistress. Illegitimate. Wife. Ah. When my dad was alive, he used to frequent Delta a lot for business. Sometimes he would stay for a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, two months. And then one day, everything changed. He traveled to Delta like he always does and he never came back. My mom, my mom couldn't take it when when she learned that he had moved in with his with his mistress and, and she was even pregnant for him. She, she couldn't take it. She cried many a night and she died of hypertension, depression and loneliness, to say the least. And out of nowhere, my dad returned to me, broke, looking like a shadow of himself. So apparently, this woman convinced him to invest in a business that failed. Just like she cleared your account. She didn't stop there. She kept manipulating and milking him. And also, she had him sell all his property, everything he worked really hard for, just to keep up with her lifestyle. And when, the way, the way he lost, he lost everything. She, she managed to move into this city, and my, my dad convinced me to move in with them to get to know my family. Two years after we moved in with them, he died from a mysterious illness. And after that, I, this this woman, my 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 so-called sister, turned me into a maid, a modern slave. Oh, no, no, baby, baby, I took good care of you. Like no, you, you didn't. I just said. You are lying. Nice. Get out of my house this instant. Hey, you hold this back. Take it. Baby, baby, baby. Don't come near me. Please. I need you to come down. Please. The truth of the matter is, I have given my life to Christ. 
I have started going to church. In fact, I am now a deaconess. Mommy. Oh, just shut up. Baby, I have given my life to Christ. I need us to, you know, start from where we start. Mm. I beg you, I beg you in God's name. Please. Well, listen. Dead men don't have second choices. Oh. Dead men don't love. Dead men don't have an opinion. So dead men have nothing to do with relationships. Could you please get out of the house? Oh, baby, please. Get out! Oh, in dead, a dead man. Madam, get out. 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 Get and if I see you anywhere near my compound again, I'll lock you up for food. What impudence, what temerity, what, what sin is this here? It's just you inviting them here. I didn't know they were your so-called step family. I just sent out an invite blindly. Oh my God, well, that's good riddance to bad rubbish. So, my daughter, my son, now that the negative energy is completely out of our lives, you guys can go and live in peace. But please do not forget that I'm here alone with Jeffrey. Always make out time to come in and check on me. Have we established that? Yes, sir. Now, Young man, let's sing a birthday song for her. She's forgotten it's her birthday. Oh my god, you remember? I do. Thank you so much. I love you. Man. Happy birthday to you. Hey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Queen Edia. Happy birthday to you. Golden All the pain and the grief, the sorrows and the hate became a blessing. 